Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young. I need to tell you about some of my favorite things to do, both camping and at home, smoking. And when it comes to smoking, whether you want to do it on the road or you want to be a pro in the backyard, we have some tools that are going to make you great at it. I'm talking about the pit boss line of smokers. We have the verticals, which are great. They're easy to set up, easy to use. You got the electric, the propane, and the wood pellet. So let me tell you a little bit about each one. Now, if you're just starting out and you want something where you can set it and forget it, you're not gonna get that, that, that really deep, like good wood profile where you get the bark and the big smoke rings, but you still get great flavor, you get great control, and you get options. I would go with this one right here. This is the Silver Star 3 Series. Now you can cook from as low as 100 degrees up to 350 degrees, which is great if you just wanna smoke cheddar, you wanna do sausages, you wanna do a brisket or some ribs, low and slow, this is a good one for you. Inside, you'll see you got the porcelain coated racks with the holes on the side that give you the multiple, you know, positioning systems. And the fans on the back here, this is where you really control the temperature and the heat. Now with the electrics, you gotta be careful because at low temperatures, you're okay. But when you start getting up above that 250 range, that close to 300, and you gotta keep the vents all the way open, that's where managing the temperature gets a little bit tougher. So you just gotta watch out for it. But you can put the racks pretty much anywhere you want. You got the drip pan down here, which comes out and is easy to clean. Once again, it's porcelain coated. You got the removable wood tray in both the vertical series, the three series. Good space can easily go for two plus hours with that wood chip tray, whether you're using chips, pellets, whatever you want to use. You got the digital readout down here to control your temperatures. You even have a probe. So if you want to stick this in to gauge the meat, Bam, there you go. The only thing to watch out for too is right here is your internal thermometer. If this is dirty or if this gets bent or damaged, be sure to clean it or check it out because this little joker right here is what controls the inside temperature. If that's damaged, you're gonna get about a 10 to 20 degree swing. That could really be bad. Grease pan is right here. Once again, easily comes out and easy to clean. High profile too, so it's when you have this on the ground, it's easy to reach. These wheels are multi-directional, plus they lock, so it's easy to move and easy to stay in place. You close it, you got the seal, and these are vacuum sealed on the inside. Really good job of insulating and keeping the temperature where you want it as long as you manage it properly. But if you're looking to barbecue, bake, smoke, roast, braise, whatever, good starter right here. Moving up the line, if you like propane, you wanna get a little bit more of that smoke profile, a little bit more of that ring and that char, this is your next boy up. This is the Red Rock series. Once again, vertical, temperatures from 100 to 320, very good range, especially controlling wise. 720 inches, so you got a little bit more cooking space in this one than you do the electric, but pretty much the exact same thing. Got your vents, got the porcelain coated racks right here, the multi-rack system, your tray, your wood chip tray, your grease pan, and down here is your igniter and your dial. Now with gas, the only thing you gotta watch out for is, you know, you just gotta make sure, especially at those lower temperatures, you gotta measure it out. You gotta measure the time, and more importantly, measure the gas. You run out of gas, you run out of the heat. But if you're ready to really put the pit boss to the test, because they are hotter, heavier, and better when it comes to smoking and easier to use, then you wanna step up to the five series, the copper. This is the wood pellet smoker. Look at this, over 1,500 square inches of smoke space inside this beauty. You got five racks, porcelain coated. You could put five racks of ribs up there easily. You got the large removable drip tray. There's your chimney. Just make sure to vacuum that out once you get done. You got your analog controls, which when controlling the smoke on these, whole lot easier, whole lot better. Um, you know, just one of the things you gotta watch out for with the wood pellets is the burn. You wanna make sure you don't get, you know, too heavy. Right back, you got our chimney top and a 40 pound hopper on the back that can easily go for 24 hours if you fill it up with your pellets. Just once again, just make sure you clean out everything when it's all said and done. All of them come with the solid handles on the back. They're easy to move. You're gonna notice the high profile, which even on the ground is easy to access, easy to get to. The lock mechanisms are adjustable. 
but you got vacuum bonded insulation, the seals. Trust me, if you want to step up that smoking game, the Pit Boss Smokers are the way to go. You can find yours at Gander RV and Outdoors and at Camping World or shop for them online, campingworld.com or ganderoutdoors.com.